Welcome to Conestoga Library Services tutorial on PubMed. PubMed is the free online version of Medline. You will always have access to it even after you graduate and no matter where you work, so it's a good database to learn. First, let's select PubMed from the Conestoga Library page. As we'll see later, it's beneficial to use this access point rather than Googling PubMed in terms of finding full text articles. Click on View All. A to Z, and then click on the letter P. Although we can search PubMed using the search box on the main PubMed page, this is keyword searching and may give us a large number of results, many of which will not be relevant to our topic. Each article in PubMed is assigned subject headings from an index called Medical Subject Headings, or MESH. Using these subject headings gives better, more specific results. Similar to searching CINAHL or MEDLINE, we use the concept-by-concept concept approach to conduct MeSH searches on PubMed, searching one concept at a time, and then combining our searches and applying our limits. We will begin our search by selecting the MeSH search page. There are a couple of different ways we can get to this search page. From the PubMed homepage, we can choose MeSH database. Alternatively, beside the search box, we can select Mesh from the drop-down menu. Now we're ready to start. For today's search, imagine that your clinical placement was at a facility where MetaHoney was used for wound care. We want to know if the use of MetaHoney speeds up and or improves wound healing. If you've never heard of MetaHoney before, you might want to search it on Medline Plus or Google it to find out what it is. Our search terms will be MetaHoney and Wound Care. Let's begin by typing in MetaHoney and clicking on Search. We can see that MetaHoney is not a subject heading in PubMed. Hmm, what else could we search? Let's try Honey. Honey is a subject heading. We're provided with a definition, or scope note, of what is meant by the subject heading Honey. If we click on the word honey, we will get the full record for this subject heading. There is a list of subheadings that we can use to narrow and focus our search, but we won't select any of these for now. We will select Restrict to Mesh Major Topic. This will mean that honey is a main focus of every article retrieved. Next, we'll click on Add to Search Builder. This will add our first concept to the PubMed Search Builder box. Now we'll go back to the search box and enter our second concept. Wound care. Hmm, there isn't a subject heading for wound care either. Let's try searching just wound and see what we come up with. Wound healing looks like an appropriate subject heading. It means restoration of integrity to traumatized tissue. There may be other subject headings in this list that would be relevant, but let's just stick with this one for now. If we click on the words Wound Healing, we'll get the full record for this subject heading. Again, we won't select any of the subheadings, but we will choose Restrict to Mesh Major Topic, and then Add to Search Builder. Notice that the default for combining our subject headings is AND. This means that both subject headings must be present in every article retrieved, so it's a way to narrow the focus of our search. Now that we have both of our concepts in the PubMed Search Builder box, we can click on Search PubMed to initiate our search. Once we have a set of results, we can apply our limits. Your assignment requires you to find a peer-reviewed article. PubMed doesn't have an option to limit our results to peer-reviewed articles, but the majority of articles contained in PubMed will be peer-reviewed. The other requirement for your assignment is that you find a primary or original research article. One of the filters available on the left-hand side of the screen is Article Types you'll notice that there are only two options available, Clinical Trial and Review. We want to expand this list to also include randomized controlled trials. We can do this by selecting Customize. Scroll through the list until you find Randomized Controlled Trial. Select it and then click on Show. Note that this doesn't mean we've limited our results to randomized controlled trials yet. We've just added it as a possible filter. Now we can click on Randomize Control Trial under Article Types. We can also select Clinical Trial. All of the search results remaining will be primary original research. 
When we selected PubMed from the library website, I mentioned that it was better to access the database this way rather than Googling PubMed. Because PubMed is a free online resource, it can only provide full text for articles that are freely available online. There will be a lot of articles that are not available unless you pay for them. When we access PubMed through the library, we can select full text from the text availability filter, and if the full article is available in the library's collection, you will be linked to it. This increases the number of articles you can access. We are left with a small set of results, but each item should meet the requirements of your assignment and be on topic. Please remember that you should always save information as you find it. You need to make sure that you have all the necessary information to reference the source. You may need to go back and find it again to check your facts, and this particular assignment requires you to attach a PDF copy of the article to your assignment. If we click through to the record for one of the articles, there's a Send To function with a drop-down list of options that includes email. Alternatively, you can bookmark the page. Articles that are available to you for free are those labeled Free Article, Free PMC Article, or those which, when you view the record for the article, have a full text link labeled Conestoga Check for Full Text. This concludes our PubMed Mesh tutorial. You now know how to use PubMed Mesh to find primary research articles for your assignment. If you encounter any problems when conducting your research, please contact the library.